But the good news is that while the Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. This is the good news, my friends. Although we were sinners, we were supposed to die, and we were supposed to go to hell because of our sins, but Christ died for us. That is the love of God. That, and Jesus Christ is the only Savior in this world. Nobody died for your sins. Amen. I cannot die for your sin, and you cannot die for my sin. You die for your sin, I die for my sins. But Jesus Christ was the only righteous man who had no sin, because he is not an ordinary man, because Jesus Christ was God Almighty manifest in the flesh. Jesus Christ was the only one who could die for sinners because he had no sins. And he did. He died for your sin and was buried and rose again after three days. That's how he proved himself that he has power to save your soul. Check your saying. This is what Jesus Christ said. What shall it profit a man he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Yes, right. Even if you have a whole world, even if you have billions of dollars, what's the point if it only means nothing? And in hell, that's eternity. After 100 years, after 1,000 years, the souls will still be there. It will not die because that's the place you will go after you die. Your body will become a dust, but your soul is eternal. So that's why for the destiny of your soul, Jesus Christ died for your sins. This is the good news. Now my friends, the reason why I tell you the good news is to accept Jesus Christ today so that you will get saved today. Amen. That's called salvation. Salvation is not a deliverance from COVID-19. COVID-19 that a lot of people are afraid of it's just a temporary disease. It's just a temporary uh, 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 pandemic. However, that can only kill your body about 2% of that kind of a death rate. However, sin will kill you 100% even to the eternal soul. And the solution for sin is Jesus Christ alone. Amen. And this Amen. is the day that you can accept Jesus Christ as your Savior as your only and personal Savior. Not your money, my friends. Not your religion. Not your church. Not your priest. Not your pastor. You cannot see. The Bible says, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, which is heaven, but by me. So, not by religion, not by your, uh, your church, not by your priest, not by even me, not by even pastor, but by Jesus Christ alone who died for your sin and was buried and rose again in the third day. Amen. Amen. Isn't it the good news for you? Amen. 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 And if you want to accept this good news and let this gift of God be yours, you're going to have to accept this gift. Even if God prepared the biggest and the greatest gift for you, the salvation in Jesus Christ, if you reject this gift, it is not yours. This is a gift, that means it's a free. We're not asking you for money. We're not gathering a money collection. I am not paying to do this. I'm doing it this for free because the salvation is free. This is a perfectly free gift of God. All you have to do is to accept this gift. Now let me ask you, raise your hand if you're willing to accept this gift as your personal, uh, you will receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Raise your hand. <laughs> Show your faith and don't be ashamed, okay? Amen. Good to see, good to see that Amen. most of you raise your hand to accept Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, put your hands down. I just wanted to check, check that. The Bible says clearly to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, you have to believe with your heart and confess with your mouth. You can all do that. If you don't know how to accept Jesus Christ, here am I to, uh, to help you to accept Jesus Christ. 
Okay? So let's, uh, let, we will all pray together. Panalangin. Uh, let's pray. And when we pray, I will lead you a prayer. And you will repeat after me. But you're going to have to do it with your heart. Mouth confession without heart conviction is nothing. Okay? You have to believe with your heart and uh, repeat after me in your prayer. Confess with your mouth. Okay, let us all close our eyes. Repeat after me uh, with a loud voice. Dear God. Dear God. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. Who deserves to go to hell. Who deserves to go to hell. But Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christ. Died for died my sins. For my sins. And rose again. And rose again. From the dead. From the dead. I now accept Jesus. I now accept Jesus. As my Savior. As my Savior. Please save my soul. Please save my soul. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please open your eyes. Raise your hand if you truly accepted the Lord Jesus Christ now. Amen. Please raise your hand if you have repeated after me and then you do you did it with your heart. Okay, Amen. put your hands down, please. Okay, from this moment, according to the promise of God, not the promise of man. Even if I promise, I can break this promise. But the Bible promise of God, the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou, you, shall be saved. According to this promise, you don't have to worry about your salvation. Your salvation is in Christ. You can go to heaven when you die for free. Not because you're good, but because of Jesus Christ. You accepted Jesus Christ. Amen. Now that Jesus Christ came into your heart as a form of the Holy Spirit. And he will be with you. When you pray, He will help you. When you read the scripture, he will guide you. And when you die, he is the one who will lead you to heaven. Okay, so uh, congratulations everyone. Let's give our hands to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Alright, so even though I have much more to say, uh, there's a saying that good preacher has a short message. <laughs> I, will, I will stop the message here. Uh, here. And then uh, I'm glad that most of you guys accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. Congratulations and welcome my brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. 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 Uh, now I um, may ask a bride and groom, Mrs. Tana. Amen. And this is uh, the exchange ring. And may uh, Pastor John Park, please. I ask you now, I ask you now, in the presence of God, and these people to declare your intention to enter into union with one another through Jesus Christ our Lord. Could you please place your hands on the Bible, Holy Bible, the room? Brother Gospi, Gospi, Formento, and Zienzo, do you take Maria Victoria, Isabel, Canablazo as your lawfully wedded wife? to live in the holy aspect of matrimony, and do you promise to honor, love, comfort, and cherish her from, from this day forward, forsaking all others, keeping only unto her as long as you both shall live? I can't hear you. I know. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, now the bride. Would you please put your hands on the Bible? Sister Maria Victoria Isabel Hanneblazo, do you take Brother Gospi for Mento and Zienzo as your lawfully wedded husband to live in the holy state of matrimony? And do you promise to honor, love, comfort, and cherish him from this day forward, forsaking all others, keeping only unto him for as long as you both shall live? Yes, I do! Amen! Amen. <laughs> okay, made a couple turn and face each other. Amen. So both of you will exchange vows. First of all, groom, would you repeat after me? Yes. I thank you, my bride. 
You look at your bride. <laughs> <laughs> to be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold you from this day forward. Amen. For better, for worse. For better and for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love, honor, and cherish. To love, and honor, and cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Amen. 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 Right now, for bride, would you also repeat after me? I take you my groom. I take you my groom. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold you from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. And in sickness and in health. To love, honor, and cherish. To love, honor, and cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Amen. Okay. Please give their hands. Both sides are witnesses of their vows. Amen. Of their vows. And now uh, for the exchange three. Okay. The marriage is a solemn covenant, and the rings are tokens of this marriage. Amen. You guys love and commitment. Amen. Okay. May I ask the groom to get ready for the big ring? All right. Groom. You may recite this as you place the ring on the bride's finger. With this ring, I wed thee. Wear it as a symbol of our love and commitment. Right. And bride, now I ask bride to get ready for the ring. And bride, you may recite this as you place the ring on the groom's finger. With this ring, I wed thee. Wear it as a symbol of our love and commitment. Amen. And now I would like to call the special number. Sister Liam.
Okay, let us all stand in the honoring of God. We will pray together in a dedication prayer. Amen. All right, let, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, you are the true light in this world, and you showed us the way, the truth, and the life, the Lord Jesus Christ. We praise you for your salvation. We are grateful for your presence with us, especially in this act of solemn covenant. May you bless this couple more and more as they take new journey in Christ. In the name of our Savior Jesus Christ, Amen. 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 All right, please be keep, please be seated. Ryan and Drew. You have declared your vows before God and this congregation. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. Could you face your beloved guest? Now that Brother Gospi and Sister Victoria have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands and the exchange of rings. I announce to you that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Amen. You may now kiss the bride. Amen. <laughs> I introduce to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Encienzo. Yeah. Yeah. And now the new 